So you want to go out and put a big rocket motor into your rocket. And then you discover something. There's an engine block inside the tube. How do you get that engine block out so that you can fly that big rocket motor? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. Today I'm going to cover how to remove the engine block from inside your engine mount tube. Typically you put that engine block in because you have a rocket engine like this one here um, and you want to prevent it from sliding forward. Uh, the newer motors have the thrust ring built on the back of the engine. This way you can put in a really long rocket engine kind of like this one right here and not have to rely on the engine block to keep it from sliding forward. The problem with the engine block, as I demonstrated, is that it will prevent a really long engine from going into the, into the engine mount. So how do you get that out of there? Well, first um, take a look at the engine block and you'll notice that typically it's a ring, it's a paper ring, and it's spiral wound. So it is possible to peel it out by working out from the inside. So let me uh, see, get this in the camera here. So basically, if you were to get your knife into the edge and give it a twist, you would see that the plies would start opening up. And then you could take a tweezers and grab it and then just start twisting it out. Kind of like that. Well, you can do the same thing inside the tube if you have a long enough tweezers. And if you visit um, flea markets, there's always people that are selling dental tools um, and they have tweezers of various lengths and all kinds of dental tools. And next time you get to a flea market or something like that, pick up as many different tools as you can because these are really good for making adjustments in your rocket. Um, what I typically like to do is to sand them out and here I have a wood dowel and on the end of the dowel as you can see I have some sandpaper. Um, I just take the wood dowel and glue sandpaper to it and I got wood dowels of various sizes. This is about three quarter inches, this is about a half inch and I got a quarter inch dowel also. So I just want different dowels um, to be able to sand these out. Um, so you could actually get in there and start sanding out. Um, but before you do that, um, you can try to pry it out. And I got a long screwdriver here. And let's see if you can see inside this tube. And I'll shine a light up through the bottom. Um, so you can kind of see. So when I, when I put my screwdriver in, I want to find that edge. And I don't want to go into the edge, I want to go along the edge, parallel to the edge. And the other thing you have to be careful of is when you're, you're probably going to take a hammer and pound it out. But you got to be careful of the edge of the tube. And it might be a long tube and this one's just short. Uh, but you don't want to be pounded on it where you crush the end. So be careful of that. So don't pound too hard. Um, if you put this in, the engine block in originally, normally, normally what you do is you take an, um, a rocket engine and you slide it forward and push the engine block to its right length. What this means is all the glue is on this side, on the opposite side, which is good because that means that you can get the screwdriver into the fibers of the wood and separate them and pry out as much as you can. So I'm going to get that in there. See if I can, so you can see that again. Let me do this side. See, you just want to catch that edge and then pound it out. Okay, that was a good one there. Let's see if you can see this. Okay, so I got the screwdriver in there. And 
you can kind of work it around, kind of like you're using that um, tweezers. Look at that, it popped right out. So now this, this um, engine block started with a green paper on the outside. So since I'm not seeing green, um, I know I don't have all of the engine block. So at this point, this is where I'm going to start sanding. And I'm going to take sandpaper and just work around the outside. And this does take a little while, unfortunately. But remember, keep the, uh, the sandpaper parallel to the edge so you're not gouging into the edge of the tube, it's, or the inside, the inside surface area of the tube. Okay, I, I can still see a bunch in there. Let's see if you can see it too. You can just see that edge. So I got a little bit more sanding to do. Okay, I think I got it. Let's see if you can see it in here again. Okay, and then you can test it by sliding in a rocket motor. If the rocket motor goes in, so that's where it started originally. I can tweet, I can squeeze it just a little bit. Let's not have all of it. So basically that's the technique. You're going to get in there with some sandpaper and you're going to sand it out once you chisel away most of it. Um, if you like this trick, uh, please come to the Apogee website. Over here on the side, you'll see some related videos to this one. Um, and then down here, there will be a subscribe button and a like button. And we'd really like it if you could like us. Um, again, my name is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.